Hi, I'm Joan. I'm Ben. And we are taking a look at a free audio transcription app called Otter. Basically, it takes a live uh, transcript of your conversation as it's happening, but then later it has some artificial intelligence to make it cleaner and easier to use. Is this something that you think you would use? Yeah, sure. Life? Yeah, I mean, I'm a reporter, so I do a lot of interviews, so this would probably be something that could be really useful instead of just, uh, I don't know, like going through all the transcriptions on my own. Right, and I can see there being a lot of uses for other use cases, like a student who wants to get notes of her lecture. Um, if you're in a meeting and nobody in the meeting wants to actually have to take the notes, you can get a transcript of the meeting too. Or if you're a, a video creator and you want easy closed captions, you can just record while you're recording. Mm -hmm. Okay, Joan, but <laughs> what about privacy issues? Well, you know, I asked the company about this. Um, and they said that it's basically the same privacy relationship that you'd have with a Google Docs or a Dropbox. So right now we have this live recording going. Um, what we're going to do now is stop it and wait. So after about 15 minutes, half an hour, an hour, depending on the length of your recording, the app will stop showing you some flashing dots indicating it's working on your transcript and instead show you a green check mark saying that it's done. And at that point, you should have a pretty clean transcript of your recording. It'll separate out different speakers and identify the ones whose voice it knows. It'll be searchable not only inside that transcript but across your different notes. And you can also search by automated keywords that it generates based on how often you say something during the conversation. One cool feature is that if you replay the audio, the transcript will highlight the words that are being spoken as you hear them. It's not perfect. I said my name during our conversation and it identified me as John rather than Joan, but it's still better than a lot of options out there and completely free.